The Punjab listen, also spelled Panjab land of five rivers. Punjabi, Pianjab Shamuki, Pahaba Guramuki, Greek, Pentapotamia Pentapotamia, is a geopolitical, cultural and historical region in South Asia, specifically in the northern part of the Indian subcontinent, comprising areas of eastern Pakistan and northern India. The boundaries of the region are ill-defined and focus on historical accounts. Until the partition of Punjab in 1947, the British Punjab province encompassed the present-day Indian states of Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Chandigarh, and Delhi, and the Pakistani provinces of Punjab and Islamabad capital territory. It bordered the Baluchistan and Pashtunistan regions to the west, Kashmir to the north, the Hindi belt to the east, and Rajasthan and Sindh to the south. The people of the Punjab today are called Punjabis, and their principal language is Punjabi. The main religions of the Punjab region are Islam, Sikhism, and Hinduism. Other religious groups are Christianity, Jainism, Zoroastrianism, Buddhism, and Ravidashiya. The Punjab region has been inhabited by the Indus Valley Civilization, Indo-Aryan peoples, and Indo-Scythians, and has seen numerous invasions by the Persians, Greeks, Kushans, Ghaznavids, Timurids, Mughals, Pashtuns, British, and others. Historic foreign invasions mainly targeted the most productive central region of the Punjab known as the Maja region, which is also the bedrock of Punjabi culture and traditions. Etymology The region was originally called Sapta Sindhu, the Vedic land of the seven rivers flowing into the ocean. The Sanskrit name for the region, as mentioned in the Ramayana and Mahabharata for example, was Panchanada which means, ''Land of the Five Rivers'' and was translated to Persian as Punjab after the Muslim conquests. The later name of the region, Punjab, is a compound of two Persian words, Panj five and Ab water, introduced to the region by the Turco-Persian conquerors of India, and more formally popularized during the Mughal Empire. Punjab thus means, ''the land of five waters'' referring to the rivers Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Sutlej, and Bees. All are tributaries of the Indus River, the Chenab being the largest. Political geography There are two main definitions of the Punjab region, the 1947 definition and the older 1846–1849 definition. A third definition incorporates both the 1947 and the older definitions but also includes northern Rajasthan on a linguistic basis and ancient river movements. Topic: 1947 definition. The 1947 definition defines the Punjab region with reference to the dissolution of British India whereby the then British Punjab province was partitioned between India and Pakistan. In Pakistan, the region now includes the Punjab province and Islamabad capital territory. In India, it includes the Punjab state, Chandigarh, Haryana and Himachal Pradesh. Using the 1947 definition, the Punjab borders the Baluchistan and Pashtunistan regions to the west, Kashmir to the north, the Hindi belt to the east, and Rajasthan and Sindh to the south. Accordingly, the Punjab region is very diverse and stretches from the hills of the Kangra Valley to the plains and to the Khalistan Desert. <laughs> Present-day maps Major cities Using the 1947 definition of the Punjab region, some of the major cities of the area include Lahore, Faisalabad and Ludhiana. Older 1846–1849 definition The older definition of the Punjab region focuses on the collapse of the Sikh Empire and the creation of the British Punjab province between 1846 and 1849. According to this definition, the Punjab region incorporates, in Pakistan, Azad Kashmir including Bimber and Mirpur and parts of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa especially Peshawar known in the Punjab region as Pishore. 
In India the wider definition includes parts of Delhi and Jammu division, using the older definition of the Punjab region. The Punjab region covers a large territory and can be divided into five natural areas. The eastern mountainous region including Jammu division and Azad Kashmir. The Trans Indus region including Peshawar. The central plain with its five rivers. The northwestern region, separated from the central plain by the salt range between the Jhelum and the Indus rivers. The semi-desert to the south of the Sutlej River, the formation of the Himalayan range of mountains to the east and northeast of the Punjab is the result of a collision between the north moving Indo-Australian plate and the Eurasian plate. The plates are still moving together, and the Himalayas are rising by about 5 mm per year. The upper regions are snow covered the whole year. Lower ranges of hills run parallel to the mountains. The lower Himalayan range runs from north of Rawalpindi through Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and further south. The mountains are relatively young, and are eroding rapidly. The Indus and the five rivers of the Punjab have their sources in the mountain range and carry loam, minerals and silt down to the rich alluvial plains, which consequently are very fertile. <laughs> Major cities. According to the older definition, some of the major cities include Jammu, Peshawar and parts of Delhi. <laughs> Greater Punjab The third definition of the Punjab region adds to the definition cited above and includes parts of Rajasthan on linguistic lines and takes into consideration the location of the Punjab rivers in ancient times. In particular, the Sri Ganganagar and Hanumangar districts are included in the Punjab region. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. The climate is a factor contributing to the economy of the Punjab. It is not uniform over the whole region, with the sections adjacent to the Himalayas receiving heavier rainfall than those at a distance. There are three main seasons and two transitional periods. During the hot season, from about mid-April to the end of June, the temperature may reach 49 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The monsoon season, from July to September, is a period of heavy rainfall, providing water for crops in addition to the supply from canals and irrigation systems. The transitional period after the monsoon is cool and mild, leading to the winter season, when the temperature in January falls to 5 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit at night and 12 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit by day. During the transitional period from winter to the hot season, sudden hailstorms and heavy showers may occur, causing damage to crops. History. The Punjab region of India and Pakistan has a historical and cultural link to Indo-Aryan peoples as well as partially to various indigenous communities. As a result of several invasions from Central Asia and the Middle East, many ethnic groups and religions make up the cultural heritage of the Punjab. In prehistoric times, one of the earliest known cultures of South Asia, the Indus Valley Civilization was located in the region. The epic battles described in the Mahabharata are described as being fought in what is now the state of Haryana and historic Punjab. The Gandharas, Kamboyas, Trigirtas, Andhra, Pauravas, Balakas Bactrian settlers of the Punjab, Yadhayas and others sided with the Kauravas in the great battle fought at Kurukshetra. According to Dr. Fauja Singh and Dr. L. M. Joshi there is no doubt that the Kamboyas, Doradas, Kaikayas, Andhra, Pauravas, Yadhayas, Malavas, Sandavas, and Kurus had jointly contributed to the heroic tradition and composite culture of ancient Punjab. In 326 BCE, Alexander the Great invaded Pauravas and defeated King Porus. His armies entered the region via the Hindu Kush in northwest Pakistan and his rule extended up to the city of Sagala present-day Sialkot in northeast Pakistan. In 305 BCE the area was ruled by the Maurya Empire. In a long line of succeeding rulers of the area, Chandragupta Maurya and Ashoka stand out as the most renowned. The Maurya presence in the area was then consolidated in the Indo-Greek Kingdom in 180 BCE. Menander I Soter, the Savior 
Known as Melinda in Indian sources is the most renowned leader of the era, he conquered the Punjab and made Sagala the capital of his empire. Menander carved out a Greek kingdom in the Punjab and ruled the region till his death in 130 BCE. The neighboring Seleucid Empire rule came to an end around 12 BCE, after several invasions by the Uji and the Scythian people. In 711 713 CE, the 18 year old Arab general Muhammad bin Qasim of Taif, a city in what is now Saudi Arabia, came by way of the Arabian Sea with Arab troops to defeat Raja Dahir. Bin Qasim then led his troops to conquer the Sindh and Punjab regions for the Islamic Umayyad Caliphate, making him the first to bring Islam to the region. During the establishment and consolidation of the Muslim Turkic Mughal Empire prosperity, growth, and relative peace were established, particularly under the reign of Jahangir. Muslim empires ruled the Punjab for approximately 1,000 years. The period was also notable for the emergence of Guru Nanak the founder of Sikhism. In 1758, Punjab came under the rule of Marathas, who captured the region by defeating the Afghan forces of Ahmad Shah Abdali. Abdali's Indian invasion weakened the Maratha influence, but he could not defeat the Sikhs. After the death of Ahmad Shah, the Punjab was freed from the Afghan yoke by Sikhs between 1773 and 1818. At the time of the formation of the Dal Khalsa in 1748 at Amritsar, the Punjab had been divided into 36 areas and 12 separate Sikh principalities, called MISL. From this point onward, the beginnings of a Punjabi Sikh empire emerged. Out of the 36 areas, 22 were united by Maharaja Ranjit Singh. The other 14 accepted British sovereignty. After Ranjit Singh's death, assassinations and internal divisions severely weakened the empire. Six years later the British East India Company was given an excuse to declare war, and in 1849, after two Anglo-Sikh wars, the Punjab was annexed by the British. In the Indian Rebellion of 1857 the Sikh rulers backed the East India Company, providing troops and support, but in Jhelum 35 British soldiers of Hum 24 Regiment were killed by the local resistance, and in Ludhiana a rebellion was crushed with the assistance of the Punjab chiefs of Naba and Malerkotla. The British Raj had political, cultural, philosophical, and literary consequences in the Punjab, including the establishment of a new system of education. During the independence movement, many Punjabis played a significant role, including Maidan Lal Dingra, Sukhdev Thapar, Ajit Singh Sandhu, Bhagat Singh, Udham Singh, Kartar Singh Saraba, Bhai Parmanand, Muhammad Iqbal, Chaudhry Remat Ali, and Lala Lajpat Rai. At the time of partition in 1947, the province was split into East and West Punjab. East Punjab became part of India, while West Punjab became part of Pakistan. The Punjab bore the brunt of the civil unrest following the end of the British Raj, with casualties estimated to be in the millions. Topic timeline 3300-1500 BCE, Indus Valley Civilization 1500-1000 BCE, Rigvedic Vedic Civilization 1000-500 BCE, Middle and Late Vedic Period 599 BCE, Birth of Mahavira 567-487 BCE, Time of Gautama Buddha 550 BCE-600 CE, Buddhism remained prevalent 326 BCE, Alexander's invasion of Punjab 322 to 298 BCE, Chandragupta the First, Maurya period 273 to 232 BCE, reign of Ashoka 125 to 160 BCE, rise of the Sakas 2 BCE, beginning of rule of the Sakas 45 to 180, rule of the Kushans 320 to 550, Gupta Empire 500, Hunnic invasion 510 to 650, Vardhana's era 711 to 713, Muhammad bin Qasim conquers Sindh and small part of Punjab region 713-1200, Rajput states, Kabul Shahi and small Muslim kingdoms 1206-1290, Mamluk dynasty established by Muhammad Ghori 1290-1320, Khalji dynasty established by Jalal Ud Din Firuz Khalji 1320-1413, Tughlaq dynasty established by Giyasuddin Tughlaq 1414-1451, Sayyid 
dynasty established by Khan 1451 to 1526, Lodi dynasty established by Balul Khan Lodi 1469 to 1539, Guru Nanak 1526 to 1707, Mughal rule 1526 to 1530, Zahiruddin Muhammad Babur 1530 to 1540, Nasiruddin Muhammad Humayun 1540 to 1545, Sher Shah Suri of Afghanistan 1545 to 1554, Islam Shah Suri 1555 to 1556, Nasiruddin Muhammad Humayun 1556 to 1556, Hemchandra Vikramaditya 1556 to 1605, Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar 1605 to 1627, Nuruddin Muhammad Jahangir 1627 to 1658, Muhammad Shah Jahan 1658 to 1707, Mohiuddin Muhammad Aurangzeb Alamgir 1539 to 1675, period of eight Sikh gurus from Guru Angad Dev to Guru Teg Bahadur 1675 to 1708, Guru Gobind Singh 10th Sikh Guru 1699, birth of the Khalsa 1708 to 1713, conquests of Banda Bahadur 1722, birth of Ahmed Shah Durrani, either in Multan in Mughal Empire or Herat in Afghanistan 1714 to 1759, Sikh chiefs, Sardars war against Afghans and Mughal governors 1739, invasion by Nader Shah and defeat of weakened Mughal Empire 1747 to 1772, Durrani Empire led by Ahmad Shah Durrani 1756 to 1759, Sikh and Maratha Empire cooperation in the Punjab 1761, the Third Battle of Panipat between the Durrani Empire against the Maratha Empire, 1000 762-2nd massacre from Ahmed Shah's second invasion 1765-1801, rise of the Sikh missiles which gained control of significant swathes of Punjab 1801-1839, Sikh Empire also known as Sarkar Khalsa, rule by Maharaja Ranjit Singh 1845-1846, First Anglo-Sikh War 1846, Jammu joined with the new state of Jammu and Kashmir 1848-1849, Second Anglo-Sikh War 1849, complete annexation of Punjab into British India 1849–1947, British rule 1901, Peshawar and adjoining districts separated from the Punjab province 1911, parts of Delhi separated from Punjab province 1947, the partition of India divided Punjab into two parts. The eastern part with two rivers became the Indian Punjab and the western part three rivers the Pakistan Punjab. 1966, Indian Punjab divided into three parts, Punjab, Haryana, and Himachal Pradesh 1973–1995, Punjab insurgency People Ethnic background Ethnic ancestries of modern Punjabis include a mixture of Indo-Aryan and Indo-Scythian. Semitic ancestries can also be found in lesser numbers. With the advent of Islam, settlers from Turkestan, Afghanistan, and Kashmir have also integrated into the Muslim Punjabi society. However, the majority of Punjab is still made up of the Arains, Dalits, Gujars, Jats, Khatris, Tarkans, Brahmins, Bats, Awans, Kamboys, Rajput Sainis, Kumars, and others. In the past, the most densely populated area has been the Maja region of Punjab. Languages The major language spoken in the Punjab is Punjabi. In the Indian Punjab this is written in the Gurmukhi script. Pakistan uses the Shamukhi script, that is closer to Urdu script. Hindi, written in the Devanagari script, is used widely in the Indian states of Himanchal Pradesh and Haryana. Several dialects of Punjabi are spoken in the different regions. The Maji dialect is considered to be textbook Punjabi and is shared by both countries. <inaudible> Religions The vast majority of Pakistani Punjabis are Sunni Muslim by faith, but also include large minority faiths mostly Shia Muslim, Ahmadi Muslim and Christians. The Indian states of Haryana and Himachal Pradesh are mostly Hindu majority. 
Sikhism, founded in the late 15th century, is the main religion practiced in the post-1966 Indian Punjab state. About 57.7% of the population of Punjab state is Sikh, 38.5% is Hindu, and the rest are Muslims, Christians, and Jains. Punjab state contains the holy Sikh cities of Amritsar, Anandpur Sahib, Tarn Taran Sahib, Fatehgarh Sahib and Chamkor Sahib. The Punjab was home to several Sufi saints, and Sufism is well established in the region. Also, Kirpal Singh revered the Sikh gurus as saints. <laughs> Punjabi festivals Punjabis celebrate the following cultural, seasonal and religious festivals. Punjabi clothing Traditional Punjabi clothing includes the following. Economy The historical region of Punjab is considered to be one of the most fertile regions on earth. Both East and West Punjab produce a relatively high proportion of India and Pakistan's food output respectively. The region has been used for extensive wheat farming, in addition rice, cotton, sugarcane, fruit, and vegetables are also grown. The agricultural output of the Punjab region in Pakistan contributes significantly to Pakistan's GDP. Both Indian and Pakistani Punjab are considered to have the best infrastructure of their respective countries. Indian Punjab has been estimated to be the second richest state in India. Pakistani Punjab produces 68% of Pakistan's food grain production. Its share of Pakistan's GDP has historically ranged from 51.8% to 54.7%, called the Granary of India or the Bread Basket of India. Indian Punjab produces 1% of the world's rice, 2% of its wheat, and 2% of its cotton. In 2001, it was recorded that farmers made up 39% of Indian Punjab's workforce. See also Chalk village Dani settlement type Music of Punjab Punjabi culture Punjabi language Punjabi cuisine Punjabi dance Sikhism <laughs>